Now verse 10. Again, verily I say unto you, that it is your privilege and a promise I give unto you that have been ordained unto this ministry, that inasmuch as you shall strip yourselves from jealousies and fears and humble yourselves, humble yourselves before me, for ye are not sufficiently humble, the veil shall be rent, and you shall see me and know that I am. Now notice the qualifier. Not with the carnal, neither natural mind, but with the spiritual for no man has seen God at any time in the flesh, except quickened by the Spirit of God. Neither can any natural man abide the presence of God, neither after the carnal mind. Brothers and sisters, your first view of God won't be with carnal eyes. It will be in those little moments where you get glimpses of the heavens. It's where... You you might be sitting there listening to a song, or you might be in a conference, or a, a ward meeting, or a family meeting, or a personal scripture study, or driving down the road and a thought crosses your mind, or on a walk, and you're just struck with, with connection with heaven, where you get glimpses. It's almost as if you're, you're walking close enough to the veil that the heavenly breezes are wafting that veil just enough that it just parts, just a sliver, just a crack, where you catch a glimpse of heavenly things, and then it's, then it's done, and it closes, and you then can move forward in faith for decades on those experiences with, with uh, glimpses of the eternities that come from the power of the Holy Ghost. Helping you to recognize things as they really are. It's powerful.